Hey, what's going on everyone? Answering your questions today. Uh, today's actually, I guess a little bit of a question, but a little bit of me um, being on vacation. I wasn't really on vacation. I'm down here right now uh, at a tournament in Georgia, 17U WWBA National Championship, one of my favorite tournaments every year that we go to. Um, I decided to drive my car down this year. So my family and I drove down, uh, we stayed a little bit. We went to Philadelphia, watched the Phillies game, got to run the Rocky Steps. That was fun, take a picture with the Rocky statue. Drove down to North Carolina um, for a little bit on vacation for a few days and then drove over here to Georgia. Uh, during my trip, I liked to read books, was reading a couple of different books. And um, one book that I was reading was talking about your why and having a, a really big why. Uh, why do you do it, whatever it is that you do? Um, and that your why has to be really big if you want to overcome adversity and the challenges that whatever it is that you're doing is going to present. And it started to make me think, it wasn't a baseball book, um, but it made me think about baseball. And it started to make me think about my why and you know, what was my why when I was playing and what is my why when I'm coaching and um, you know, you start to realize how important having a really big why is and, and what that why is is also important. And so um, I want to talk about that today and just kind of reflect on, I guess, my why as a player and then ask you, what is your why? Why is it that you um, play baseball or I'm assuming if you're watching this channel, you're a baseball player, but maybe you're a coach. You know, why is it that you coach? And I think when you look at your why, um, a lot of times, you know, if I can find out someone's why, I have a pretty good idea if they're going to be really good and how far are they going to go in the sport or, again, whatever it is, whether you're a doctor or, you know, firefighter or whatever. It doesn't matter, writer, uh, poet, you know. Sorry, my text message is going off again. But you have to have a really big why because, um, especially in baseball, baseball is a game of failure. It's tons of obstacles. Um, it's a difficult sport. And so there's a lot of times where it can be very easy to get frustrated and actually give up. A lot of players quit the game, right? Uh, a lot of young players get to the point where the game gets really difficult and their why isn't big enough or their why just isn't the right why, right? Um, and so if you play the game, right, because somebody wants you to play, right? Maybe, you're, maybe you play because your parents want you to play. You know, you really don't want to play, but, you know, your parents want you to play or your, or your grandparents want you to play or, um, you know, someone other than you wants you to play. Well, if that's your why, then it's going to be really difficult when times get tough to push through adversity because your, your why isn't big enough, it's not strong enough. And so when things get hard and you've got to really, really push through and dig deep and you sit there and say, well, I'm doing this because mom dropped me off here and wants me to play and well, that's not really, <laughs> really a very big or, or, or very good why you're not gonna, you're, you're gonna give up. You're not gonna, you're not gonna continue to play. Um, and maybe you don't quit, right? But there's plenty of players where when the game gets tough and it requires more work, right? More time, more dedication, getting the practice early, staying after practice, working hard during practice. If your why isn't big enough and strong enough, you, you're not going to put in the work. And so you might not quit, but you're not gonna get better. Right? You're not going to continue to improve. And so, you know, when I think about, um, you know, this made me start to reflect on my why as a player and as a coach. Um, but my, my why as a player, like why did I enjoy playing baseball? Not just baseball, sports. I mean, some of it, some of it was um, just an enjoyment or fun, right? Like, and maybe not everyone has this, but for me, like I'm very competitive and I just like sports, right? Like my wife, Laura, all the time says, you know, like I'll go to baseball for 
you know, 12 hours and then I can get home from baseball after a 12 hour day and sit down on a sofa and put on a Red Sox game or, you know, put on a college game. And she'll say like, haven't you had enough baseball? How can you, how can you come home from 12 hours of baseball and put on a baseball game? And I'm like, I love baseball. <laughs> like, you know, like I just love sports. So, you know, one of my whys, why did I, why was I able to work hard? Why was I able to overcome adversity for a long time? Because I really enjoy the game. I just love the game. No one made me play the game, right? Like, I think my dad introduced me to the game. I'm assuming he did. Um, but he didn't make me play. I played because I enjoyed it, right? I had fun. Like, playing and practicing was fun for me. Um, and so that makes it easier to overcome adversity when you enjoy doing it, right? It doesn't feel like work. It just feels like play, like, right? As a kid, I want to go out and play wiffle ball, right? So I could play baseball all day and then come home and then my buddies say, want to play wiffle ball? Hell yeah, I want to play wiffle ball, right? And go down and play, you know, I can remember as a young kid playing with my cousin and, you know, just playing wiffle ball all day long at my grandparents' house because we love, we all love to play. Um, so, so that was a really big why. Another why for me is, and this is probably part of being competitive as well, is, um, and this is really anything I do, and this might be just a person, it's just a personality thing. I just born this way, I guess. So I guess some of it is, is you know, you know, the genetic lottery. Um, but um, I, I, if I'm going to do something, I want to be really, really good at it. And so. When I, wanted, when I was playing baseball, I wanted to be really good at it. When I was playing football, I wanted to be really good at it. When I was playing basketball or hockey, I wanted to be really good at it. Um, I'm not going to do something unless I'm going to put 100% into it because I, I need to be really, really good at it. And so if I don't think I, I, I can put the time in and be really good at it, I just don't do it. So when I played baseball, I, wa I didn't want to. I needed to be really, really good at it. I needed to try to be the best player. Um, again, that might be a personality trait of mine. Maybe not everyone has that. Um, you know, I have that as a coach now. Like when I'm coaching, I can't just coach for fun. I need to be the best coach. I'm not saying I am the best coach, but I need to try to be the best coach. Um, and so as a player, if we were going to do a drill, I needed to, to be the best of the drill. I like uh, when we did hockey sprints, I needed to win the hockey sprints. Uh, when we did the, uh, you know, football running the hills, I needed to win the race. I, I needed to win. I couldn't just finish in the middle pack. I needed to win. <laughs> um, so that's part of the competitive thing again, which again, I think is probably genetic. Um, I noticed some of that in my son. You know, my wife and I were talking about this and saying like, you know, he has, he really has to like win at everything he does. And, you know, it's just like, he's going to be, he could be really, really good because of it, but he also could be, you know, it could drive him insane, <laughs> which it could. Um, but I, I, I was very similar. I still am. I want to win. If I'm going to do something, I want to win at it. So um, that's another kind of why for me. Um, you know, another why, and this is maybe a little bit of a weird one, but maybe some people can relate to this is, um, and I don't know if this is because I was good at it, and so because I was good, I, I, um, it became just part of like me as a person. But also, um, I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't really good at some other things. So like as a young kid, I was like really shy, um, was not outgoing, um, was an introvert. I still am an introvert. Um, you know, like I'd be the kid that would like, you know, my dad would take me in someplace and I'd hide behind them, didn't want to talk to people. Um, it was kind of weird. Uh, and so, uh, but I, for some reason, always found sports and baseball as like kind of my thing. I, I wasn't awkward when it came to that. Um, and so being a little bit of a weird, weird kid, um, and everybody kind of gets, you know, poked fun at, um, you know, they talk about bullying and all this stuff. Every person's dealt with it. 
Uh, but as a younger kid, like I would, uh, you know, I was always like behind in the times. Like, you know, everybody, I, I think I've told this story before, everyone would be wearing jeans and I'd still be wearing the, the pants that people wore five years before that. Like everyone would have like the new hairdo haircut and I'd have the haircut that was five years prior, right? So like I was always behind in the time. I don't know, thanks my mom. I watched my, like the way I dressed as a kid. I'm like, mom, what the hell you dress, how, how did you dress me like this? Um, but so, you know, you get, poked, you get poked fun at, like, oh, nice shirt, nice hair, you know, nice pants, all that stuff. And, um, and uh, you know, like, I was like, really awkward, didn't talk to anybody, you know, like. Uh, and so, for me, like, um, I knew that I was good at sports, and I liked that as, I liked being, I guess, being known as, you know, maybe he's kind of odd in these other ways, but he's really good at baseball. And so, that was, like, my way of, I don't know so much being accepted because, um, but I, I can vividly remember many times where like somebody would say something, make fun of me, something like that as a kid. And my thought in my weird brain was like, um, well, yeah, I might be a little weird, right? Like, um, but I'm going to beat the hell out of you in this next game of football that we play. Or like, I'm going to throw this next pitch past you or I'm going to hit a home run off of you that was like my weird mentality so a lot of my why when I was younger was like um, uh, I wanted to be uh, the best player I could be because that was like my thing and uh, that actually took me probably quite far because I remember it wasn't just when I was young but continued I was Kind of like, I even think when I was in high school, like I didn't really talk to anybody in high school. Either. I talked to people, but I was just very shy, very, very, very shy. Um, and, uh, and so that was my thing, like going into high school. I remember like that was my way of kind of being accepted a little bit, I guess. And, um, and so that was part of my why. Uh, so th there's a lot of different parts of, of my why, I guess, um, that helped me become the player that, that, I, that I was. Um, so what is, what is your why, I guess, is, is, the, is the point of this video, is thinking about, like, why is it that you do what you do? And is your why big enough? And um, if it is, fantastic. You're probably going to be really, really good. Um, if it isn't, then you probably won't. And I'm not telling you to quit if your why isn't big enough. Um, but I think it's an interesting thing to reflect on and see why is it that you do what you do? Because, again, the why is what kind of gets you through the really hard times. And if you want to be really good, which a lot of people that watch this channel want to be, then you have to have a big why because you're competing against a lot of players in a really tough game. And there's going to be lots of adversity. And you're going to want to quit sometimes. I've wanted to quit a bunch of times in my life. Um, you know, baseball has made me, I, I, I don't cry very much. Baseball has made me cry plenty of times in my life um, when I've been horrible and I've wanted to quit and, uh, and I never did until finally they told me I couldn't play anymore because I stunk. But that didn't happen until I was almost 30. So I got to enjoy baseball for a long time and I still enjoy it as a coach. So just an interesting reflection off of a book that I read. So let me know what your why is in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.